Yo, it's your boy Dells, and welcome back to part 5 of the Donkey Kong Country free playthrough, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. In the previous part, we had just finished Mechanos and beaten Chaos, um, one Sonic villain, and now we're heading into K3, which looks like it's going to be a snow level, or snow world I should say. So yes, things have gotten colder and it's about time we get introduced to, to some ice physics so that's gonna be fun but yeah snow levels are my favorite anyway i love ice aesthetics i've said this multiple times but now you're probably thinking what happened what happened to the snow isn't this supposed to be a snow world well this game does like to introduce different aesthetics within the world as well so sometimes it will be snow and sometimes it won't but as you can see we're going to be climbing on these ropes and we have the um i can't remember the enemies names but basically we have to avoid them because they are tnt if they touch us we're dead and they follow you wherever you go. So you have to try and kind of bait them and quickly go to the other direction. Otherwise, yeah, it's all over for you. Oh my gosh, he's there. Oh my god, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. Light work, light work. But yeah, this is like a cliff as well. Um, the music here isn't too bad. Oh, I want that one up. Oh, okay. Well, the one up's gone. So we missed the opportunity. Should have been faster. So again, the controls for climbing up are the same. If you hold the up button, you will climb up faster, which is what you want to do. If you do not do that, you will get hit. Look at this guy. Like, why are you waiting here so bad? Leave me alone. You ain't getting this. What's up here? No, let's go down. Oh yeah, this music is also very interesting as well. Can I? I can't hit him there. Listen to that guitar. Okay. That's not how it's going to work. Nope. I need you to ricochet off the okay so what you're supposed to do yeah is ricochet off the wall and you have to try and beat the barrel before it um reaches the creme who's guarding the dk coin this is pretty tricky oh, damn i was too slow okay come on you can do this How am I not making this? Come on, no, don't. Obviously that's not gonna work. I need you to eat it. And okay, this isn't this isn't working out. I need you to eat it and Wow. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I decided to switch to Kitty. Because I don't know why Dixie is causing me trouble. Unbelievable, Dixie, you're actually useless. Like, all I had to do is switch to it. How are you getting outplayed by a by an infant? He's a baby. He this is his first adventure. You've done this before. This man hasn't. He's not even a man. He's a kid. Well, miss me, miss me with that. Hey, hey, boss. Relax. Oof. Those guys are so swift, like they're trying to catch me. So bad. Nope. Alright. Oof. You have to be so quick. It feels good to avoid them though, because down. Because, um. It's very clutch. It's a very clutch situation. Okay. Okay, how am I gonna do this? 
Okay, not bad. Go, 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 go. gonna climb up here maybe there's something hmm. let's see is there any, anything down here nothing all right at least it won't kill you i just had to check you don't know what kind of secrets they have around here man these guys just want to follow me so bad look at this guy you think i didn't know oh my gosh man he's so quick <laughs> like K. Rule has set them up to blow up and they're like, you know what, if we're going to die, we're going to take one of these Kongs with us. Fair enough, but damn, man. I want the G. Okay, I'll sacrifice Kitty for the G. I think it's worth it. Lovely. Not a bad first stage. Oh, I missed the secret. Rutted. Okay, we're going to go back in. All right, I think I know where it is. If you come, oh, it's not here. What? Where is the secret? Oh, miss me that. That's not a secret barrel. The only barrel I want is the bonus barrel. Oof. I know the N is there, but I need a bonus barrel. to go down. There we go. Is it down here? It is. Alright. Where is this thing? Yo, I'm actually lost. I don't know where this bonus barrel is. Like, how have I not found this thing yet? I swear I've checked everything. I've been everywhere. Is it up here? That's meant to be the select button. Unless, can I throw you? Oh my gosh. I... Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, take that, by the way. I have never... I must have never known about this secret because I didn't even think it would be here. Oh no. What the hell? This is gonna be trouble. I need to go up right now. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right, no problem. <laughs> that was the first time doing that bonus stage, actually. All right, we've beaten the stage, so let's leave. All right, now after scouring that cliff looking for that bonus room, we're now heading to Tearaway Toboggan. So it looks like we're gonna be on that bobsleigh one more time. Okay, but what you want to do, shoot there, and there's a bonus barrel there. Yeah man, I know it's so weird, like, why would you ever think of shooting into the pit? Like, <laughs> you wouldn't. Anyway, let's kill these. This isn't bad. You see, the bonus areas need to be more like this, you know, simple. Not difficult, like how they are. Anyways, this stage is pretty much self-explanatory. You're just going to be essentially jumping and avoiding all the enemies. Like, I do like the aesthetic. I don't think the music fits the stage though. I know that they want this to be a pretty, like, fast pace thing. Why did Kitty just rise to the heavens just there? Did, did he really need to get hit there? That's so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, my mistake. Man, I have to keep making backup save states because this game keeps crashing and I don't know why. Like, it can't keep doing this. It really can't keep doing this. But, yeah, if you saw, like, the um, game menu or the emulator menu, that's why. this It needs to stop doing that. What's going on? All right. Dixie, it's up to you. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but Kitty's not jumping. 
when I want him to jump, he ain't jumping. Need to jump, you understand? Jump and jump and jump and these words up to something. Whoop. Alright. Focus. Why are you not jumping? I am not gonna fall for the same thing again. Alright? Jump. Jump. Okay. Oh no. It's that flipping bug. It's messing me up. That's what's happening. Anyways. All we have to do is get one more. Yo, I'm getting stressed. One thing I do like is the blizzard effect gets a lot more harsher as you're... Okay, it's gone now. But it was, like, getting harsher as we were progressing. Okay, good. Checkpoint. At least now if I die, it doesn't matter. Because... I won't start from the beginning like I have been. Alright. I think we're doing pretty good. Ah, oh, come on, I didn't mean to jinx myself. Some bull. Yo, why is this stage so hard? Like, what's going on? This is supposed to be simple. It's because it moves too fast, I can't see. And you know what, the blizzard effect that I said is nice is now becoming distracting because I I'm trying to focus on what's coming ahead and the jump button doesn't jump. Ah. Alright, you die, your cousin and your brother die, your whole entire family dies, and you as well. No! Don't say ow. Oh wait, I need that. I need that. Wait, can I go back? I need to go back. I need to go back. kill this turkey and I need another barrel thank you because if you go here the DK coin is just chilling there however we missed the bonus so we're gonna have to kill ourselves great oh my gosh please Dixie what is this man I'm jumping and it doesn't want to jump. No, I need that. Oh. oh, look at me sliding as he's crying. All right, this time, this time, I am definitely getting this bonus area. You ain't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting it. I don't care if I have to lose someone. As long as I can get inside that area, I don't even know how you do it. Okay. As long as I get this bonus coin, I don't care. Thank you. Cool. Well, that was stressful for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, we're heading on to the next stage, Barrel Drop Bounce. And this stage, if I'm not mistaken, yes, this is the stage I remember. So this stage actually uses the foreground. So there's a barrel that is falling on the waterfall and you have to jump. Well, I didn't see that enemy coming. Let's do that again. D did you see how fast that guy, that guy was sprinting like, like what the heck? Like my guy was running for the bus. Now that I know that he was coming, I could be prepared to kill him. But, like, again, these guys get faster with every level. It's ridiculous. So I feel like they need to change the color of these enemies so that way, you know, I know what to expect. Wait. What the heck? Is this the DK coin? Here already? What? Okay. Yeah, that was so quick. <laughs> what? Wow. All right, I guess we have to go back now. Let's 
get rid of this. We need to go back this way. Um, I'm lost. Where am I going? Um, okay. Oh, this way. Right. But if I'm not mistaken, I swear there's a bonus barrel somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, let's go down here. What is here? Oh, that's where we just came from. Yeah, you see these levels are so huge. Sometimes you just get lost, but... Alright, we got the DK coin anyway, so let's just progress. But yeah, the whole gimmick of this stage is the barrels are falling on the waterfall, so you need to jump on them and time it as well so you can progress. These guys are moving too fast for my liking. Like, slow down. I cannot see you. Yeah, fall. And all you echidnas can take this barrel roll. Okay. Now this section is a bit... Okay, I did that one take. Say no more. I'm just good with it. I'm just smooth with it. Hold on. Let me see. No. Wait. I just wanted to see if there was a bonus barrel on the right. But you know what? I don't want to risk having to do that section again because it's actually pretty difficult. I think I know what the bonus barrel is. Okay. Um, there's one here. Alright, we're going to find this coin here. You know what? This game is getting easier. <laughs> you know, I really shouldn't open my big mouth before something wrong happens. I should just keep talking smack about this game and then I'll have a better time. But no, this game is getting a bit easier. Like, when you know what to expect, things become more enjoyable. But I guess on my first run, it wasn't the best experience. I still stand with a lot of the things that I say about this game in terms of like, you know, the gimmicks, in terms of like how the platforming doesn't feel as natural and organic. Okay. Shoot. That's not good. Um, and at the same time, I do believe a lot of the collectibles it has is quite excessive. It also doesn't explain how you get a lot of these things. And the game does tend to have a lot of situational moments and create its own challenge kind of artificially. Um, but overall, you know, when the game is um, just doing basic platforming and when you know what to expect, it's not too bad. Okay, we've got two lives from that, which is good. Whoa, these guys are super fast. What the heck? Oh, I killed them. No. Take that. I want to kill these guys again. Can I get another barrel? Okay, I guess I can't. Oh. Okay. Right. So that's the end of the stage. We only got one... One barrel. I mean, one bonus barrel. So let's go down here. See if we can find it. See, look at the lag. There's so much activity going on. If I'm not mistaken, one of these areas takes you to the bonus area. We just gotta wait patiently. Somewhere. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? So I just killed myself, so that's kind of peak. Oh, I think I can see it. Wait, how do I get there? You know, I take it back. This game is BS, man. There's a barrel and I don't know how to get there. How do I get to that barrel? No, that's how I died. I will not forget. There's a barrel, bro. I don't know how to get to that bonus barrel. That's how you get to the DK coin. Which I've already gone. I just need 
Wait, how did I fall? Was I behind? Oh my gosh, this is going to be one hell of a part, man. Alright. Okay. So, we're literally just looking for one barrel. Just one. Can you imagine? Yeah. I knew there was going to be enemies around it. Why would there be bees around here? There it is! How do I get there? How do I get there? Alright. Nice. Alright, grab 15 bananas. Let's do this. I do hate these ones though. There is a simpler way to get there, I just couldn't figure it out. The way I did it was so unconventional. Oh my gosh, why is it down there? Alright, I'm so glad that landing on these platforms isn't... It's got good um, detection when it comes to platforming on these barrels, because it's a round surface, so you'd think that you'd slip off a lot more. Oh my gosh. No, please. Please. Okay, I literally just made it. Thank God. Alright, so now we just gotta beat the stage. Oof, miss me with that. You die. Okay. Alright, skip all of the echidnas there. Wait, so if I die now, I'll get to the checkpoint. Which isn't fun, which isn't bad. I'd want to get to the checkpoint anyway. Oh shoot, I didn't make it. Uh oh. Yeah, this is the part that a lot of people don't like because it's very difficult to land on these platforms and get to the barrel. You need to be at the peak height of the barrel. The last barrel that you need to jump off. If not, you're not going to make it. And if you're not Dixie, who has the flutter, right? She can do this. So that if you're just a bit under, she can basically flutter to the next falling barrel without you having to go all the way to the bottom and restart it again, you know? Alright, let's get Tweedy one more time because we need to make up those lives that we lost. Shoot. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, back here. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Wait, Tweety, you lived. Help me. Alright. Oof. Come on, man. It's just there. We can make it. Give me those lives. Alright, what I'm gonna do, yeah? I'm gonna kill Knuckles the Echidna right here. And, okay, we need that barrel. Where's the barrel? Actually, I don't need the barrel. Dixie's here. So, this fat turkey. Kill it. Get the G. It's the extra life that we need. Nice. Okay. Crack shot croc. Let's see what this stage has in store for us. Oh, this is one of my favorite levels, actually. I really like this stage. I think this stage is so memorable. Oh my gosh, I really like this stage. So this stage is entirely played as Squiddle. And... Oh, damn, I killed <laughs> Knuckles Cousin from a long shot. I think I'm the sniper here. So as you can see, someone is shooting at us. And there's a reticle that's constantly going to be following us. And when it um, starts flashing, and you see the X cross... Um, I said X cross. When you see the red cross, sorry, um, it means that he's about to shoot you. So you want to avoid him when you see that sign. Go up here and there's a one up as well. I really like this stage because it's so unique. It just changes the way that you have to go about this stage, you know, because now you have to be vigilant of where you position yourself as well, because you could, there's other enemies here as well. And at the same time, you're going to be platforming. And these platforms are temporary as well, so you have to be careful about where you're going to be 
suspending yourself because there will be hazards below you, hazards all around you, and now there's something shooting you. So you constantly feel like <laughs> you constantly feel like you're under pressure. Um, what sucks though is that sometimes you may have to like like um, you know retrace your steps, not retrace your steps, but you kind of have to tread. Um, um, you just have to do stuff again, like if you fall down, like how I did just there, you have to redo certain segments, it could be kind of long. But what I do is I like to wait and then I jump. So, yeah, but I really like this stage, super memorable. Oof, didn't get me there. I want to get the O. Oh. There we go. I got the bear coin, I don't even know why I did that because the bear coin, I don't even know what, it, what they do. Why did I do that? Okay. Let's go back and get the DK coin. Um, the DK barrel, sorry. Right. But yeah, stages like this, this is, this is unique. This is very unique. Um, and again, playing a squidder who plays exactly the same as in Donkey Kong Country 2 you can fire projectile webs, you can set them as well, and yeah, just changes the way you go about the stage. And then the reticle itself just adds a whole new element to that. You can use this as cover as well, the guy can't shoot you, so it's basically a shield for you if you want to take a break. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank you for the DK barrel. Okay. Strategic loss, right there. Okay, that wasn't strategic. I missed the platform. Okay, go, 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 go. Right. I'm gonna wait for him to shoot and then jump. The thing is, the stage can be a drag if you wait too long, but if you're quick and you know where you want to plant the webs, it can benefit you in so many ways. Like. You have to kind of plan where you want the web to be in. Like, even the way that you're using the webs is different as well. Oh, shoot. Okay, go up here. And there's a barrel. But yeah, I really like that stage. And this is my favorite bonus, um, <laughs> bonus room. We become the sniper and we have to shoot the enemies. I, like, when I did this the first time, I was like, wow, okay, you know what, props to them. This is, this is fun. I like this. I want to do this more often. If there's a whole mini game based on this, I'd play it for real. I can shoot the zingers. I can shoot those annoying enemies that always kill me. The control is a bit weird though, I can't lie. It hasn't got the best movement. But luckily, they're always in the same position, so you don't need to worry. Yeah, we have to shoot the bonus point. Easy work. Like, that's such a memorable bonus room. I'd never done anything like that. Okay, we can get the DK barrel back. No! Ah, oh, come on, after I just got my extra hit back. I don't even know who I lost. Did I lose Kitty or did I lose Dixie? Doesn't matter, I just have to stay alive. That's where the G is. Oh, I hit I hear someone. Where? Please, I need you. Where are you? Where are they? What? Where? Where? Oh. <laughs> I guess there was a hidden barrel above here. I was like, when I because if you don't hear them shouting for help, <laughs> you've walked away from them. You've walked too far. So if you hear them, then you're close by. And I was walking away, or I was walking in another direction, and I couldn't hear them. So I was like, okay, they're not there. So where are they? So there must have been a hidden barrel. And yeah, the guy can't hit me now. So it's Pete for him. Shoot. 
Is there another barrel I can use? Oh no. Why? Alright, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't shoot me, can you? Can you? Oh look, I'm here. You wanna shoot me? Nah, nah. Tough. Tough for you. He's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I can't see him. I can't see him. Bro, I'm right here. You want you want some? Oh. Oh, too bad. No, 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 I'm here, bro. Come, come. Oh, I'm gone. Save. Alright. This time. Get it. Thank you. Oh, I had to redo that. It's a bit peak. Lemguin lunch. What does that even mean? Lemguin. Oh. Okay. There's a barrel up there. We need Dixie. Where is she? Oh, okay. Found her. Okay. So, we're going to chuck her into the barrel. And get the bonus. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see what we have to do. Oh, penguins. There's a lot of penguins. Okay. So, I guess this is what they meant by Lemguin? Is that what they're called? This stage isn't too bad, but again, it's just like very gimmicky. Oh my gosh. Just jumping on penguins over and over, and the DK coin is right here. Didn't even need to find it. <laughs> I swear, it's like they're not even trying anymore. Wow, I got pecked by his beat. I mean, the aesthetic looks nice. Like, here's the thing, yeah. Pokemon Country 1 had, you know, aesthetics where, okay, why is the jump not working for me in terms of, like, I'll kill you since you're here. But why isn't the jump working? Like, you're just supposed to jump forward and land on them. It's supposed to be simple, right? I don't need, okay. I'll stay behind you then, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, Docker Country 1 had snow levels outside. And I think this game was trying to adopt that, but I don't know where we're at. Like, what is this supposed to be? This just feels like a generic snow world. I like the visuals, but it just, I don't know. It just feels generic. <laughs> Anyways, go this way and you can get into the bonus room. We'll see what we have to do here. Collect 30 stars. How are they going to make us do that this time? Oh, I missed one. Oh no. The thing is, is that these bonus rooms have hazards, so they can easily kick you out if you just land on them wrong. Because I swear the hitboxes in this game are so deceptive sometimes. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's quite an easy stage, actually. We needed that after the bobsleigh nonsense that was going on. I think that's it. Wait. I missed the secret. Okay, we'll be back, we'll be back. Do you know what? This stage also makes you feel like an intruder because as soon as you get past the sign where it shows that someone's going to be shooting at you, an alarm goes off. I don't need to be falling right now. You know what, if there's one thing that I will feel like they've changed, because I don't know, I never had this issue when I was playing Doctor Country 2, but I feel like the platform's hit detection is different in this game, because every time I try to land on the platform above me, I always end up missing it, and I don't know why. Either that or they've changed this jump, because I keep falling and it's frustrating. Where is this bonus? How could I have missed it? The stage is so linear. You know what? I have an idea and I'm going to see if this is true. Oh my gosh. I think I know where it is. It can't be. I'm gonna kill this. Is there something up here? Oh. The bee was going up. I thought there was something up there. Can I... Can I go up there? No? Okay. 
I, I, I thought the game was going to be clever. Because there were some bananas that was here. So I assumed that maybe you could go up the pipe or something. Maybe it's here? Ah, there it is. Where is this thing? Oh shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? This man burnt himself. Oh gosh. He burnt his J's. Have to protect the crepes, man. Have to protect the crepes. That's where the first bonus is. Have I missed it? Okay. Where is this thing? Alright. I figured out where it is. I can't believe I missed it. It's literally right here. So stupid. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's see what we have to do here. Oh. After searching for that bonus coin for a while, it seems like this level I didn't know it 100%. But anyways, we are now going to tackle the boss of K3, Bleak's house. Yes, we're going to enter his yard and beat him up. Let's do it. So yeah, this this boss is a bit... I'm telling you, like, Doctor Country 3 has very creative bosses. It does. Very weird though. Because we're fighting a snowman. <laughs> How did that not hit him? Okay. Nice. So, what you want to do is you want to fire, press B to um, throw a snowball. And. Okay, I overshot that. <laughs> and he will appear in the foreground or the background and you essentially, well, it's not necessarily the foreground, but either he'll be in the middle row or at the end. How did that not hit him? I swear I hit him. Eventually he'll start firing his own snowballs from his hat. Again, the boss fight is actually very creative. Him. There we go. You want to hit him in the center where his scarf is, so, you know, the flashing circle. Yeah, you want to hit him dead in the center. Sometimes the hit detection isn't necessarily the best. Now this boss is a bit hard on touch screen because as I'm moving you can see there's like a blue ball on the top left corner. It lets you know whether the ball will fire far or um, close and as I'm moving it keeps changing. So hopefully, okay, shoot, this isn't good. I think I have one more hit. That's when. He, that's why he's speeding up right now. He wants me dead. He's like, how dare you violate me in my yard, using my own weapons against me. Shoot, I overshot that. I didn't mean to, man. I swear, like, ugh. trust me. If I was playing on the Switch, or just not touchscreen controls, this boss would be done. Don't throw it far. Alright. I missed. Damn. I need that. This is going to be an inside joke, but I need that Benson arm, bro. I need to throw that like it's goalie squash. I'll hit my mark 100% accuracy. Like his laugh is frightening. <laughs> this is an evil boss. One of the better bosses though, I can't lie. It's just weird. Like, why is the snowman evil? And how did K Rule get a snowman that is alive? And oh I missed him. I thought I got him. Damn. Shoot. Get him. Oof. 
What? No, that hit him. Wow. Are you serious? Crazy. Oh, I thought I had one more hit. The way he laughs, even when he gets hit, it reminds me of the Joker, bro. This man is truly evil. He's more of a villain than K. Rool, I swear. That laugh. This was made for kids. They get frightened. Look at the way he's chuckling as he's getting hit. He enjoys it still. Okay. Shit. No. Damn. How did that not hit him? need to avoid. Come on. Oh, damn you. Damn you. You flipping. Don't chuckle at me. How dare you. What kind of host are you? We came to your house and you're firing snowballs at us. We didn't ask for this. Okay. to not touch the flipping direction pads in an angle and I think I'm good go down okay it's okay right okay I can do this oh I missed I missed bro there's so much pressure I swear I'm trying not to flop but I've died so many times Nah, 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 this game's robbing me. That hit him dead center. Are you kidding me? This man dipped his head at the right. Oh. What is this? Bro, don't laugh at me like that and then just crouch. It's, uh, how many snowballs you can fit in that hat? Oh my... Oh. Finally! Take that! You dumbass! Take that! Had enough! Took too long! is done what a world man i don't know if ice stages are my favorite after that <laughs> anyways in part six we'll be heading on to razor ridge so i hope that you guys enjoyed this part and i hope that whenever you're watching this you're having a great day or evening it's been your boy Dells and peace